What is up everybody? Uh, Clinton here and in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, Veganuary. Uh, if you've never heard of Veganuary, it's basically a time of the year where a lot of people around the world decide to try a vegan lifestyle. They decide to give it a go for 30 days for the month of January and uh, that implies that they, you know, they're eating vegan meals, they're leaving meat and dairy off the plate and I just want to share with you ways in which I think your veganuary can go a lot smoother. Um, it's coming up to Christmas time, so I think people are just preparing themselves. This this year, 2018, um, veganuary was absolutely huge. I remember listening to plant based news and just seeing like um, the statistics of the amount of people uh, that were that were doing veganuary. Um, it even caused the dairy industry to sort of start uh, getting scared and um, start doing campaigns to promote more dairy consumption because. Uh, dairy consumption just plummeted in the month of uh, uh, January. Um, but without further ado, let me get into some of the ways I think your veganuary can go a lot smoother. So the first is uh, to get support, is to join a uh, online uh, forum, um, forum or group or Facebook group, or simply just to have friends because a lot of people will be doing this um, who are doing it with you. And I remember uh, whenever I was studying psychology, I came across a weight loss study that showed that whenever you, your goals or where, whenever your, uh, whatever it is you want to accomplish, uh, whenever an individual puts that in a public place where other people can see it, the chances of them actually accomplishing that goal goes uh, through the roof. It's a lot higher. So get your friend, um, get some friends, some buddies, uh, join a Facebook group, maybe the vegan uh, society in your area and say, hey, look, I'm doing vegan red, really like some support. And I think that will make things a lot, a lot easier. Uh, along my journey, I had nobody. <laughs> I had nobody. So uh, what I what I did was I relied on watching YouTube videos to uh, give me that inspiration when people around me were <laughs> thinking I was silly just to leave meat and dairy off my plate. Um, so that would be uh, the first thing I would say would make this a lot easier. The next is to make sure to eat enough food. Make sure to eat enough food. Whenever you live in a diet of like fruits, vegetables, um, grains and beans and all these different things, you're going to have to eat a lot more um, of it. Uh, animal products, meat and dairy products. Uh, they're quite calorically dense for such a small amount of um, food that you're eating. But when it comes to like plant foods, you're going to have to eat a lot more. You're going to have to eat a lot more. So um, this is, I don't think this is a, a bad thing. I like eating. Like, who doesn't like eating? <laughs> who doesn't like eating? Uh, so another thing you can add on to that is to try to replicate the dishes you are already eating. So I know a lot of people like bolognese. I love bolognese. I love bolognese before I went vegan and I still eat bolognese now, but instead of using um, mints, I now use lentils. So uh, things like cereals, uh, just simply leave out the, leave out the uh, cow milk, the cow titty milk from the cow's udders just for the month <laughs> and instead use things like almond milk, soy milk, oat milk and it's the same with your teas and coffees. People really really like oat milk. They love oat milk and I, I like oat milk on coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I like my smoothies. That's what I go for uh, but a lot of people like oat milk in their coffees and teas. So another thing to add on to this food thing is have sauces on deck. <laughs> have easy sauces on deck. Uh, my top three favorite sauces, uh, one of, um, the first is soy sauce. I mean, like you just gotta have soy sauce. It's just easy, throw it on your rice and veg, simple. Uh, the next is sriracha. Sriracha, nice, um, savory and spicy. And last is sweet chili. Oh, sweet chili and um, tomato uh, passata. You can make a lot of easy dishes with um, all these sauces that I've mentioned, but find your favorite vegan sauce and just keep that on deck whenever you just want a quick, quick meal. And uh, wait, there's one more. Uh, yes, <laughs> before I lose my train of uh, thought. The last is 
June, January, or even a little bit before, get into watching uh, documentaries. Uh, check out Forks Over Knives, uh, check out What the Health, Cowspiracy, Earthlings, uh, Dominion. Um, Plant-based news recently um, uh, posted a, a documentary, I think it's like vegan, ve vegan 2018 or something, but it was really, really, really good. Uh, featuring uh, people like My Miley Cyrus, Lewis Hamilton, um, the strongman vegan who's like, <laughs> I remember one of the quotes is like, people are like, how do you get so strong like an ox? And he's like, have you ever seen an ox eating meat? <laughs> so these documentaries are very inspiring. They're very inspiring. And they're good to have because um, people in your, in your life, your daily reality will start to uh, challenge you uh, for your actions and this is why a lot of people whenever they uh, are trying a vegan lifestyle they don't even want to mention to their friends and stuff because they're like oh god what if they like challenge me and stuff like that so watching these documentaries educating yourself um about the lifestyle will will help that so you, you know what to say about the protein you know what to say about you know whatever comes up or you'll just have a greater confidence uh, as you do it uh, last but not least have fun have fun uh regardless of whatever reason you're trying veganuary um, just to realize that you're making a massive difference to uh, the planet, you might make a massive difference to uh, um, animals that are um, being killed around the world. And you're also making a massive difference uh, to your health, you know, not consuming any uh, cholesterol um, and all these saturated fats uh, found in animal products. So uh, I just want to say thank you very much for giving this lifestyle. I try I've been doing it for uh, over five years and it's literally the best thing that ever ever happened to me I just feel good knowing that um, my lifestyle is um, benefiting not just myself but the world at large so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below like and subscribe and have a good Christmas and New Year's and all this peace